So welcome to Techno Dad Life, and my name is Jeff. And so today what we'll be doing is looking at Tiny Pilot KVM with which we can remotely control our computers and servers. So what Tiny Pilot is, is a KVM that remotely controls our servers. And when you buy it in the box, you'll get a 3D printed case, a power converter. You, so basically, this is a kit. Uh, you can also download the source code, or you can buy just the power converter, or you can buy the uh, uh, video converter, which I don't have or you can just buy the whole kit. And so basically this is what I look at is this kit is for somebody who uh, wants to do this but doesn't necessarily want to spend the time sourcing all the parts themselves to make it. And so what does Tiny Pilot do? So with Tiny Pilot you connect your HDMI on your Tiny Pilot into whatever server that you want to control. You can also connect it to certain switches. I actually haven't had time to check that out. But if you want to see me connect it to different switches to see if we can connect more than one computer, just leave a comment in the description below. So right now what we have up here is a... So what we have on the screen up there right now is this Mac Mini here. And... Uh, I put Windows on it because uh, Mac OS doesn't really run that well on it. So let's look and see what we can see on this. So basically Tiny Pilot has pretty good response there. We can click on anything that we'd like and the computer will run at normal speed. Just the cursor drags a little bit when you're doing things. Now on here we can, on the Tiny Pilot interface there's a virtual keyboard but you can also use your keyboard for your computer and your mouse for your computer. Next, if we look at the different things here, we have security, where we can require a password when we log in. Uh, update, this updates your tiny pilot. Change our host name. View the logs of the tiny pilot. Power turns the tiny pilot off and on. Uh, we can copy and paste from our regular computer onto something in the Tiny Pilot. We can take a screenshot, and that just downloads directly to your computer. We can change our cursor, show keyboard, enable key history, and we can go full screen. And we exit that by hitting escape on our keyboard. So how do you access the web interface? And so basically you have two choices. So you can go to HTTPS Tiny Pilot, or you can look up on your router the IP address of the Tiny Pilot. Uh, either way worked for me. So you can SSH into this. And so what that means is you should be able to set this in a different location with the proper certificates, and you can remotely control computers in a different location. The username and password came on a sheet that they sent it with you. And also there's support forums where you can go and ask different questions about this. So what I'm planning on doing is attaching this to a KVM switch and then having the tiny pilot be able to switch back and forth between my different servers. Then I'll be able to access all of them through a GUI if I have to do work on that server. My other thought was putting one of these at my father's house so then I can do remote access to his computer and fix his problems, which he tends to have every once in a while. I know you're watching, Dad. Now, there is an alternative to this. So there's also Pi KVM, which is more of a completely do-it-yourself option where you have to buy all their hardware for yourself. I don't look at these as competing rather than complementary. So one just gives you the software. The other one uh, you can buy a kit for if you want. Now, one thing I forgot to say, 
is that the one of the main benefits of this compared to almost anything else is that you can also access the computer during boot so you can ac access the BIOS and actually and the difference with this and the Pi KVM is currently the Pi KVM you can add in images or upload images at that time and so the word uh, from Tiny Pilot is they're going to be adding that soon if they haven't already by the time this video is posted. So Tiny Pilot is a great addition to any home lab or if you need to do remote management. It's a great low cost option. And if you want to see me set up this with a KVM switch, just leave a comment down below and we'll do a video about that in the future. Otherwise, you have a great day. Hope you found this helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. And a special thank you to all my patrons who, without your support, this channel would not be possible. And if you haven't already, please think about supporting the channel you love. Thank you.